Okay, so yesterday I started trying my first stack of uh, prints uh, using an SDL that was uploaded by uh, the, on the process side for actually stacking these uh, facial shields on top. And um, today I finished my first stack. So what I'm going to see next is um, you know it worked great. Um, the time per uh, shield really remains the same, but it's you know you, you don't have to stay with your printer. That said, unfortunately, my big printer that's running in the background actually uh, got a filament alert last night, shortly after I went to bed, so it sat still all night long, and I just restart, resumed the print, uh, picked up the printing again, so that's a bit of a shame, um, but it's going again. Uh, so right now, what I'm going to do is see if it actually all comes apart. All right, so this is uh, done on my small cantilever, so it's the smallest bed I have, but I can still do four prints at a time. <coughs> so it stacked the uh, four shield components, and then I have the, the uh, there's actually five little bottom clips. I guess they need extras. Uh, looking at the print itself, it looks pretty good. There's some uh, blobbing on the inside, but that's not related to stacking, though. That's just, these are these little blobs you could scratch up. There's one. At one of the edges here, there was one misfire as far as uh, adhesion is concerned, but again, nothing too serious because that's where you're going to break it off. Oop. So let's get this mask off. Now the print itself comes with uh, incorporated. Oh, wow, look at that! Actually, that's interesting. The uh, print, while trying to take it off the bed, actually came loose by itself. So it looks like that's not going to be too much of a painful process at all. Alright, so let's see. Um, the supports, they come generated with the SDL so you don't have to worry about that. They seem to come off pretty nicely. Look at that. Not a problem at all. We set before the last one. Let's see. I gotta be careful too because I'm wearing gloves which is not the easiest to work with. Let's get a little jolt. There you go. Bit. So the supports came off great, and now let's see if these masks come off. And I guess the trick to it is just tearing them loose. That one was easy. Moving on to the next one, and you kind of oh, so it's just basically whatever comes loose first is what you go with. But again, this one is coming loose at the front, the back right now. Here we go. Another one that came off great, and last but not least, so yeah, this works awesome. So I am printing these face shields, uh, they're being sent to Repcord, if you look at the R-E-P-K-O-R-D uh, on Twitter, uh, he is arranging to get these masks to uh, masks for doctors, um, they will assemble them with the shield, so if you want to join the community. Uh, do something with all this time that we have on our hands. Uh, stacking these prints works great. If you like this video, subscribe by the way, and stay apart and stay healthy, and we'll all get through this. Hope to see you later.